She looks a little upset. Shut up. Ow! That hurt. No. Do this whole night in heels, then complain. Please leave. Are you sure? Because I don't believe you at all. I'm sure. Good night. Vi, can we I just... said... Really? <sighs> okay. Good night. What are you doing? I lied. Surprise. What's wrong? I don't know, Shay. What could I possibly have to be upset about? I don't know. That's why I asked. Get out of my car. No. Get out of my car. Get out of my Why car. Why are we yelling? Why are we yelling? I don't understand. Really? You can't think of one reason why I might be upset. Personal space issues? You can't think of anyone you started seeing tonight without even asking me? You don't find that rude? You don't think I have any reason to be upset? And now? Now I can't even have my own car? Are you done? Am I done? Am I done? Okay, I'm gonna pretend you didn't just do that! Great, because you're doing an excellent job so far pretending you've done absolutely nothing wrong! I'm sorry! Who do you think I'm dating here? Matt! Makes you feel this. I saw you. I heard him. I want you. I've always wanted you. Sound familiar? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Hey, floppy balls! Oh my god, no. Just hear him out, okay? I don't like this any more than you do. Shane, no. Can you express to Violet the extent to which you have feelings for me? No, really. Shh. Well, I can't say I've given it a lot of thought, but if Justin Bieber and Shay were both hanging off the side of a cliff, I'd save the Biebs. I just think logically it's the lesser of two evils. And I'm all for equal rights for women, but if anybody deserves 77 cents on the dollar... Oh, and I had this, this dream one time where... She had fallen asleep on one of the couches in the library, you know, the ones with the big cushions, and she was sleeping, and she just looked so peaceful. And I, I took one of the cushions, and I just, I just smothered her, and I, I felt this enormous feeling of relief. And then everybody in the library stood up and gave me applause, Wrap and people it up. started hugging me, and I got a trophy, and Matt. it was... I hate her. I hate her so so much. It's kind of a long story, and I was hoping to tell you in private. Oh, do you want to... Yeah. Mm. Thought you were getting out. Why would I leave? All right, um, I've been acting weird all night because of a bet. Shay bet me that I couldn't go the entire night without giving other people my opinion, and I wasn't allowed to answer any direct questions or say anything that could be taken as kind of recommendation. And if I didn't, Shay threatened to show a video to Liam. Threatened is a strong word. Well, no, you pretty much threatened me. Ugh, you're so sensitive. Anyway, in the video, I was pretty rude. I said that Liam and Becca shouldn't... He said they shouldn't get married. Sorry, I'm just excited. <sighs> Liam's seen the video now, which is good. I should have been honest with him, and I wasn't. 
So you couldn't answer any questions honestly all night? No. I mean, well, yes. I, I tried to answer as honestly as I could, but I was limited. So when you were talking to Shay through the door, that wasn't real? That was part of the bet? Well, no. I mean, yes. Well, it wasn't part of the bet. I, I wasn't talking to Shay. I was talking to the door. I didn't know Shay was behind it. It was awesome. He was there, and then he broke the bet, and then, boom, I opened the door, and I was like, Hello, sunshine. Are you feeling lucky? And then he was like, Whoa! Like, his face was just, like, contorted. It was like, Whoa, what's happening? Wait, what? What? Where are you going? Hey, hey. I'm sorry. I thought you and Shay... Well, no worries. Murderous rage is mistaken for sexual tension all the time. What are you going to do about them? I don't know. I really messed up. Why? I'm sorry I ruined your night. You didn't ruin my night. You just made it terrible to endure. Oh. Is that all? Okay. I'm going to be frank. Hi, Frank. I will block you in that car. Hey, sorry. I have a headache, and I'm not 100% sure on what actually happened here this evening. I mean, there's a lot of lying and not lying, and I was hoping there'd be about 80% less confusion generally. I mean, at one point, you talked to a door, and I'm not really clear on why. I, I thought you were behind the door. What? I had the wrong door. I wanted to come clean and break the bet. But I had the wrong door. You had the wrong door. Well, what did you want to say to the right door? I, I, I guess I wanted to say uh, to the door that she it. I'm, I'm sorry, this, this isn't what I said. But it's what I should have said. I should have said a lot of things. And I should have tried long distance. It was just easier to give up. I wasn't thinking, I was just scared. And I thought, I thought I knew it was going to happen. I thought there wasn't any point because one of us would lose interest or find somebody else. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I thought I was being proactive or, or mature. And I thought I could end it without there being any pain or weirdness. And I don't know, maybe it was because I, you, you have, you know what you're doing, Vi, and I, I just don't. And then I was mad for a long time. I was mad at you. And mad at myself. But I don't think I really realized until tonight that I've been selfish. Really. Really selfish. I didn't like, I knew how important Ghana was to you, and I just thought about me. And I, I'm a piece of shit, Vi, and you've been nothing but patient with me. And I'm sorry for saying that what we had is broken. And if it is, it's on me. I broke it. Didn't. Well, uh, that's all I wanted. <laughs> It's just, this is going to be confusing now, because I really wanted to kiss you, but I'm going to say some pretty conflicting things, because holy shit, what are you doing? I thought I was confused, but you are a mess. A very hot... Keep it together. The point is, you can't just lie to Liam like that, or to me. Everything's fun and games with you, man, until things get hard. I don't mean to. I know you don't. But you don't mean to hurt anyone. But you do. I don't have anything figured out. I don't. I don't know if I want to go back to Ghana or stay now. I'm just as confused as anyone. I came here tonight because I wanted to have fun. I came because I wanted to see my friends. See you. But as usual, I just want to kick the crap out of you. You're an extremely frustrating person, Matt. I know. But, 
before this whole night went to shit. And we had a couple almost real conversations. Kind of. And you listened to me. And I missed you. And now you've gone and said all those things and you're all self-aware. Kind of. And now I have this problem. Because I don't want things to go back to the way they were before. But I'm afraid you'll go back on me. But for what it's worth, I won't. For what it's worth. You have changed, you know. You never would have yelled at me like that before. Yeah? Yeah. But it does it for you now, huh? Apparently.